In this session, we continue our study on the uh, gifts of the Spirit, and we are studying about the diaconian gifts or the service gifts, and we've covered the gift of service. The second diaconian or service gift is the gift of giving. Every believer is to be a giving person. Jesus said it's more blessed to give than to receive. So you don't have to have the gift of giving to be a giving person. But this gift is a supernatural gift that the Holy Spirit gives to some in the body of Christ. That's who they are. They are givers. Barnabas, for example, uh, was a brother who gave this uh, or had this characteristic of giving. You remember he was from the island of Cyprus and he came to uh, the Pentecost uh, festival or the Passover festival and uh, he came to know Christ as Savior and he stayed there in Jerusalem with the early church. The scripture said on the island of, of Cyprus, uh, he had houses and lands. God blessed him with an ability to make money. And to accumulate wealth. But he had a gift of giving. And so when a need arose in the early church, the uh, widows, for example, needed uh, ministry. There were those who uh, stayed in, with the church after Pentecost by the thousands, and they needed to be fed and cared for. So he laid his gift of having sold houses and land at the feet of the apostles, and he said, it's not mine, it is the Lord's. So I give it to you for the service of the kingdom. You can have the gift of giving and not necessarily be a wealthy person. Because you can give not just uh, money, you can give your time and your love and your care and that sort of thing to people as well. But mostly this gift seems to be given to those that God blesses with a supernatural ability to accumulate wealth or to, to have money. And the disciple who has this gift of giving gives so that others can serve the Lord. Barnabas gave uh, the proceeds of his houses and lands to the apostles in Jerusalem so they could distribute it uh, as the needs arose. Barnabas gave the proceeds of his houses and lands to the apostles in Jerusalem so they could distribute it as the needs arose. 
，所以耶稣路撒冷的教会的使徒能够从到外面去传扬主的话语。Uh, in the life of、uh, Jesus, as well as the other apostles, there were women who had money and wealth, and、uh, they gave to the needs of Jesus. And later on,、uh, certain women gave to the needs of the apostles. When Jesus was on the earth, we also saw that many women gave to the needs of the apostles. When Jesus was on the earth, we also saw that many women gave to the needs of the apostles. When Jesus was on the earth, we also saw that many women gave to the needs of the apostles. When Jesus was on the earth, we also saw that many women gave to You remember when Paul went to Macedonia, having seen the the vision, the first person he met、uh, was Lydia and some other ladies. When、uh, Paul went to Macedonia, he heard from Macedonia a woman, a sister, called Lydia. He gave. Lydia was like a Proverbs 31 lady. She、uh, had a business that she ran. That time, Lydia, this sister, she was running a business. And Lydia, it is assumed, had had some wealth because of the ownership of of her business. We believe Lydia, at that time, the Lord's blessing, she may have some wealth in the business of the business. And with the gift of giving, she opened her home for Paul and Silas to come and stay with her. And with the gift of giving, she opened her home for Paul and Silas to come and stay with her. And with the gift of giving, she opened her home for Paul and Silas to come and stay with her. And with the gift of giving, she opened her home for Paul and Silas. And the scripture doesn't explicitly say that she gave money to them, but we can assume because of her wealth, she not only was their host, but she met their needs while they were there. 圣经上没有告诉我们，直接告诉说，哦，西这个西西呃，这位姊妹呃，供应他们钱财或什么。但是从她接待保罗跟希拉，及在他们生活上对他们帮助，我们可以看知道。One of the ways God is going to provide for the itinerant workers, that's the traveling workers like evangelists and apostles and prophets, is through gifted Barnabas type people. 当主差遣这些向外宣教的弟兄姊妹的时候，他必须要也装备一些弟兄姊妹有给的恩赐的人，能够去支持他们向外走，向外走。Let me give you an example of、uh, the gift of giving someone ministered to me. 我给你一个几个例子，有关嗯施舍的恩赐，有些人对我的施舍。Uh, about three years ago,、uh, the Lord laid on my heart、uh, to have a gathering、uh, in Texas where we live of some leaders from around the world, house church leaders from around the world. 差不多三年以前，神给我一个负担，说我要把所有全世界这个家庭教会的领袖们，把他们召聚在一起，到我家来。And we had between sixty and seventy leaders to come to our little town from all over the world. 差不多六十到七十个领袖，家庭教会的领袖要到我们家来。They came to pray and fast and seek the mind of the Lord and to share what God was saying in different countries of the world. Uh, they shared words of prophecy of what God was saying in Africa, and what He was saying in Asia, and what He was saying in South America and Europe, and so forth. He 特别有话语向我们说，说你在过亚洲，在非洲，在欧洲，在全世界各地的这些家庭聚会当中。So when the Lord laid this on my heart to have such a gathering, 主将这话心摆在我的当中。My first response is, Lord, I don't have the money to do this. Where's the money coming from? 我向主说，我实在没有这个财务来接待这些人。Why don't someone give get some water for him? He's having trouble coughing. Water. Okay. <coughs> So I asked the Lord. I said, uh, uh, "Lord, you know I don't have the funds. This is going to cost several thousand dollars to help these people come and feed them while they're here and put them up in in housing.、Uh, I don't have that kind of money." 我就向主说，主啊，我实在没有这些财务<咳>，你要预备这些财务，因为这些人来要花好几千块钱美金，我到哪里去这收集这些财这些啊、呃、钱来呃接待他们。And the Lord told me, He said, "I'm going to speak to or touch the heart 
of a Barnabas-like person who has the gift of giving. He will provide the money. The Lord didn't tell me who that person was. And I waited for several days and I prayed and, and I, I sent out the invitations to come without any money to do it. Just by faith, I, I invited leaders from different parts of the world to come to our town. And by faith in their invitation, I said, when you get here, we'll put you up in housing and take care of you. We'll feed you while you're here. 凭着信心, 我就告诉他们说, 只要你们到了我们这个城, 我们替你安排住的, 我们负责你们吃, and in the natural, I had no idea how God was going to take care of these expenses. And it took a lot of courage and faith for me to mail those invitations out, not having any money in hand. But just a few days later, I went to the post office to get my mail. And along with other letters that were in my post office box was a letter from someone I had never heard of and had never met. And to this day, I have yet not met this brother. But when I open an envelope from a brother from North Carolina, the return address had some kind of a company name on it. And I opened the envelope and I saw a, a brief letter. And this brother whom I did not know addressed me by name and said, While I was praying, the Holy Spirit told me to send you this money. He said, I have the gift of giving. And he said, my brother and I own a manufacturing business in North Carolina. And God gives me the gift to make money. And he blesses my business. And he told me to give money to itinerant workers like apostles and evangelists and prophets who travel. And uh, the Holy Spirit led him to the internet. And he found our website. And he logged on to it and he saw what we were doing. We were an apostle traveling throughout the world strictly by faith. And when we traveled to China, we don't have the money to come to China. God supernaturally provides the money. And I'll illustrate more about that in a moment. But back to our story, the, uh, I opened an envelope and a check fell out. <coughs> and it was a company check from his company. And it was a check for 3,000 American dollars. Which would be about, what, 24,000 yeah. That's a lot of money. So I was able to take that money, and I was able to buy food, take care of lodging, 
assist some of the workers who did not have the money to fly or to come by train or whatever. I was able to pay their tickets. I was able to take care of the entire gathering of about 60 to 70 people uh, for about three or four days. So this 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 so someone with the gift of giving heard the Spirit speak to them, saying, send Dan Bobo uh, money to help him. He didn't know what I was going to do. He didn't know I was having this gathering. He just knew the Spirit said, send him money. So he was obedient. And it blessed me because it enabled me to do what God wanted me to do as an apostle. So God's going to do that in China. He's going to do that in other countries of the world. He's, he's going to give you and other brothers and sisters in China the supernatural ability to be successful in business and to make money so you can give so itinerant workers can go out in the mission field. This is one of the ways God's going to make provisions for some of you right here as workers to be able to travel and yet have the money to provide for your parents if you're married, for your family or single, take care of your own expenses plus you're traveling. I have a teaching that I will share with you at a later time about how God supports the work, how He makes provision financially for workers. But I want to challenge you as you go through the villages. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. You may find business people or farmers or others who are, are blessed of the Lord to make money. Encourage them to be givers and to be generous to help so that uh, others can go and preach the gospel. So when you go to the factory, you will find different people. Some are let me give you another example of how God has used, used the gift of giving to help me uh, as an apostle to travel to China. Uh, as I've said, my wife Laurel and me, we just have a, an average income. We're, we're not wealthy people. We don't have a lot of money. Uh, and when the Lord uh, extends a Macedonian call or a mission call to me to Africa or South America or Europe or China, I don't have the funds to travel there. But the Lord told me, He said, Son, if I want you to go to China, I'll make provision for you to go to China. So one of the ways I know that I'm to go someplace is when God makes the provision. If there's no provision and no money, I know that the timing is not right. It's not that I won't ever come to China, but the time that I had planned to, apparently God had something else in mind. So 
I don't go. I don't borrow money and, and uh, try to find money in other sources. I wait until the Lord provides. So when I pray in front of the Lord, I will go to a place and go to a place. I will not say I will go to a place and go to a place. I will tell people that I will need money and go to that place. I will pray in front of the Lord. I will wait until the Lord provides. I will go to a place and go to a place. Each mission trip that I take to whatever continent of the world, I will take to whatever continent of the world, the Lord always supernaturally provides through other believers to help me make these trips. Assemblies of believers will help me. Individual Christians will help me. But they do so by the direct uh, revelation of the Spirit. I don't make an appeal for money. I don't ask for money. I don't send out letters. I don't make phone calls. I make no appeal at all for money to travel to China. I just trust the Holy Spirit. If He wants me to go, He will make the provision. So every time I go out, I don't write a letter to people saying, oh, I want to go out, I need money. Or I tell my friends, I want to go out, I need money. 经费上的资助，乃是每次主很清楚的感动或启示教会或者弟兄姊妹来供应我们。It's totally a work of faith。这完全是凭信心走神的道路。Each trip that I make to the mission field, normally anywhere from eight to twelve or fourteen, either churches or individuals are led by the Spirit、uh, to give me money or funds to make these trips. 所以，像中国大陆，我们我来这一次来，或到非洲，或到任何世界各地，我发现神是信实的，他感动弟兄姊妹在这件事情上有负担，愿意给。And it's not the same individuals, nor is it the same churches. It's always different people feeling led of the Spirit to contribute. 很奇妙的一点，主永远用不同的人来供应，不是每次我出门的时候就是这几位弟兄姊妹，或者就这几家。几个教会来资助我，到某个地方去传他的福音，或与弟兄姊妹分享。总是有许多人，甚至我向来都不认识的。So you've got to learn to walk by faith。所以我们也要学习，我也向你们挑战，我们要学习走信心的道路。And to continue to trust the Lord to make your provisions、uh, as you go out and travel。不往外走的时候，继续仰望神的供应。And I know that you do because many of your house churches、uh, will give you what you call a one-way ticket,、uh, I guess, to the training center, and then you have to trust the Lord as to how am I going to get to the mission field, how am I going to get back home. That's walking by faith. I believe you have already walked through the Lord's path because I often hear you share with friends that we have gone out when we were just in the church or the mission field, but we only gave a one-way ticket. 这教会或者中心只给我们呃呃一趟一个趟的这车费，那回来的时候主要自己供应我们回来。The flesh and the natural self, that's not comfortable. I'd like to have money in the bank, but that's not faith. Faith is being able to trust God to make provision. 我们的天然是希望一切都稳稳妥妥，预备好以后我们再要出门，但是这不是信心的道路。信心的道路乃是我们完完全全的信靠主的带领。Let me give you another example how God has used the gift of giving to、uh, give me resources to travel to the mission field. 另外一个例子也是主供自己的供应，让我知道也能够到这个宣教的工厂去。About two years ago, the Holy Spirit gave me a Macedonian call to go to England and to Eastern Europe. 差不多两年以前，主给我再一次马其顿的呼召。要我到英国、伦敦及还有啊、uh, 东欧。Again, I did not have the funds to travel. 那时候我也没有什么呃呃车票或基金，我能够出门。And I said, Lord, if this invitation is of you and the timing is the way you want it, you're going to have to make provision for me, or I can't go. 他就向主祷告，他说：“主，如果这是你的意思，你要我去，你亲自供应。” 
I went to the post office uh, one morning during that time I was praying about going to Eastern Europe and when I got out of my car to go into the post office to get my mail, a sister in town who was a member of a congregation there said, while I was praying, the Holy Spirit said, make out a check and give it to you. And she put it in my pocket. Uh, two people in the state of Florida mailed me checks. I didn't even know them. I didn't know anything about them. They just said the Spirit of God said, send you this money. Uh, there were uh, two people in a city called Waco, Texas that felt led of the Lord to send me money and they mailed it to me. Had no idea that I was going to go to Eastern Europe. 另外两位弟兄姊妹是在Waco,德州,他们也寄了支票来,他们也不知道他要到东欧去。The uh, trip there and back, uh, airfare and expenses was somewhere around $2,000, American dollars. 所以去这个东欧及欧洲这么一趟的这个宣教,大概需要2,000块钱。And I was within about a couple of weeks of, of leaving, flying over to Eastern Europe. And I lacked uh, about $420 or $40, I don't remember, $400 and something. And I said, Lord, uh, I don't have enough to go yet. And he said, trust me. So just a few days before I was to get on the plane, uh, some brothers in a neighboring city invited me to come to a prayer gathering. And about uh, 40 or so brothers met every uh, Monday at noon to pray. And they said they wanted me to come to that prayer meeting so they could lay hands on me and bless me and, and send me out to Eastern Europe. And Nothing was said about money at all. No appeal was made for an offering. These approximately 40 men gathered around me and, and they began to lay hands on me and to pray for the Holy Spirit to empower me to go to Eastern Europe and, and uh, minister. After a powerful time of, of praying and, and hearing the Spirit, I went back to the table where I had eaten the meal with them and I had a jacket, it was winter time, February as I remember, and I had a jacket and my Bible on the, on the table. I got my Bible and I put my jacket on. And I reached into my pocket to get my car keys. And my pocket was full of money. I didn't know how it got there. And I pulled it out and it was just wads of uh, American money, $20 bills, $50, $1, $10, $5. When I got to the car, I opened the car and I, I just dropped my Bible on the seat of the car. And 
when I did, something fell out of my Bible. It just fell over into the seat and into the floorboard. It was more money. And I, I thought to myself, where did that come from? No appeal was made for money. No offering was taken. And as far as I know, these 40 men around me, they prayed for me. I didn't know they left the prayer meeting and went to my coat and put money in it or put money in my Bible, but apparently that's what they did. So I, I sat there in the car and I just wept for joy. And I said, Lord, you're so great, you're so wonderful, you're so faithful. And I counted the money. And you know how much it was? Exactly what I needed to go to Eastern Europe. Isn't God good? Amen. That's what He wants to do in your life and my life. But in order for us to be workers to go out on mission, we've got to have gifted Barnabases who have the gift of giving so they can help us to be able to do that. And I want to encourage you, God is raising up Barnabas gifted brothers and sisters like Lydia and Barnabas who make money and want to give uh, because they have the gift of giving to help you as workers to go to all the world. One further word about this. I think our brother Howard is going to speak to this maybe in one of the, the sessions about entrepreneurship. Uh, how that you as workers can be uh, tent makers like Paul was. Or like Priscilla and Aquila were. Learning to do something with your hands that makes uh, money so that you can travel. You see, when Paul traveled on mission, uh, some of the people who had money, like Barnabas, would help. Ladies, like Lydia, would help. Churches would make contributions. When Paul traveled on mission, there were some things to do with the Barnabas' money. Then Paul would be on his journey and maybe he ran out of resources. What did he do? He used his hands and his talents to make tents. And he sold his tents. And he paid for his expenses as well as for John Mark and Barnabas and Titus and Timothy and all the rest of them. So scripturally, when you talk about full-time service, you're not talking about being on salary. You're talking about living by faith and trusting God to raise up people to give, either individually or as a church, or give you the wisdom to work with your hands. 
，神给我们的供应有很多的方式，有兴起那个愿意给的弟兄姊妹。有兴趣就能够呃教会能够帮助我们，但是另外一个给的方式，神要我们用我们的双手来，呃赚来呃看到他自己借着我给我们的恩赐来给我们供应我们。Uh, when I when I look out among you and, and as we talk to you individually and personally, the Spirit tells me that you're you're intelligent, you're talented people. 当我们跟各位弟兄姊妹有面谈分享的时候，发觉神。There's so many things you can do with your hands. 许多事情我们可以用我们的手来做。The Lord wants to teach you as workers, but also the people that you minister to in the villages and congregations to learn to to make some things and do some things to provide a living for you. 神可能用你的恩赐及你的才干来做，用手来做一些事情，所以不但赚取供应。而且能够用你所神所给你的恩赐，即使你的才能来教导你要传福音的这些这人，或者当地的教会，使他们也能够供，也能够支帐篷，也能够供应他们自己，甚至能够把他们神所赐福他们的供应来给再给回教会及给他的供给呃奉献给工人用。He wants to teach you to know some skills. 他要教导你知道有一些技巧。It may not be tent making, but it's something you can do. Some talent you have or ability you have. 不见得就是织帐篷，很可能是手可以做的，像缝纫呐，或这样绣花等等，或者像一些呃机电的工作。Before I began to work with uh house churches. 在以前我跟呃家庭教会同工一起工作的时候。Uh, I was on salary. A full time by a paid by a church. In this before, I was in a church as a minister. I was paid every week. I had salary. Then the church gave me a house. Then the church gave me my office. So everything was paid for. 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 Everything was paid Said I want you to live and walk by faith. 我要从你要你今天从开始学习走信心的道路。He said I want you to learn to work with your hands. 我要你学习用你的双手来赚取供应。I said, Lord, what can I do? I've been a, a pastor for 25 years. 他说，主啊，我已经是牧师二十五年了，我这个手已经不不做不了事了。And I've always gone to my office, and my secretary or treasurer has given me a check every Monday morning. 所以我到我当牧师的时候，每个呃礼拜一的早上，这个呃教会就发给我这个一张嗯支票。So you've got to teach me what can I do with my hands to be a tent maker. 他说：“主啊，你今天开始要教导我要如何做一个支把帐篷的人。” So Laurel, my wife and I prayed and said, "Lord, give us the wisdom to know how we can use our hands." 所以我的妻子 Laura 就跟我们一起跪下来祷告，说：“主。”从今天开始，我们要平平静静走路。你要我双手来做什么 ？My wife Laurel uh, had the ability and the education to teach school. 我太太曾经这这是上过师范学校，所以她能够教书。And she had not taught school for some years because she wanted to be at home to raise our sons. 我的太太已经好多年没教过书了，因为她那时候自从我结婚，我们结婚以后，我又牧养教会，她没有办法出去做事。And she said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school. That can be a part of my tent making." He said, "I can go back to teaching school." 神就感动我的心，他说你呃开一个小店，这个店呢专门卖专门卖属灵的书籍。And uh, then he, I did that. I went downtown and I rented a building and I put in a Christian gift shop with Bibles and Christian books and Christian gift items. 所以到了这个小镇里面，我们就租了一个小店。那在这个小店里面，我就卖圣经跟一些呃小礼品。And that provided some income, but it wasn't enough to provide for us to make a living, uh, pay our rent, 
buy our groceries and that sort of thing, buy our clothing. 开始的时候，我自己开始了这个小店，那个的收入还不足够我们的这个每天的生活费。So the Lord, I asked the Lord, what else can I do to supplement my income? 那我就就问主说，我还能做什么？你要我做什么，使使我们的家庭的每天的生活能够得到供应 ？So I can have the resources to minister the gospel. 所以我能有一个见证，能够向人去继续传的传讲福音。And the Lord said, "For many years, twenty-five years, you've been doing counseling services and ministries in the church." So, 神对他说，你知不知道，你这二十五年来，我已经装备你，如何帮助人，如何去劝诫人，如何去做呃解决人的心灵上的问题。So he said, "Open up a counseling office and invite the community, anyone who has a problem or need, to come for counseling and." Uh, 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 require some small fee, but it will be some income for you. He said, "You 不如在你这个店的隔壁，你能够有一个小办公室，做一个能够呃呃做人的呃安慰人的地方。那让让那些失丧的人或心里有有重担的人来你这里，你可以帮助他，然后让他们对你的这种服务有一点奉献，小奉献。Then the Lord said, 'There's something else you can do with your hands.'" 然后神又在告诉我说，还有一些事情你还是可以做。And I said, well, Lord, my hands are full now. 嗯，我就告诉神说，我的手已经满满了，现在还有什么事情 ？And he said, there's a need in in your area for a travel service. 他说，你们这个镇上面有一些需要的服务，就像人家要出门旅行。In America, we would call it a travel agency. It it helps you to buy tickets for planes and trains and that sort of thing. 在美国，我们叫这种旅行社帮你买机票啊，帮你订旅馆。And he said the nearest travel service is many miles away from our town. 他说最离你这个城最最近的一个旅行社能够帮忙做这种服务的，要好几十里以外。He said in this same building you're renting to have a Christian bookstore and gift shop and counseling service, offer a travel service. 那既然你已经在最城市市镇的证明在服务了，你不如在。也加上加了一项，做一个旅行社的服务。So for about five years,、uh, I had this store downtown with Christian、uh, books and Bibles and gifts, counseling service and travel service, and God used that to give me resources to be able to travel and to, to do ministry. 所以神就在这个时候，呃，看到神的作为，他借着我卖属灵的书籍，做一呃卖一些啊。Uh, 呃，小礼物，去做呃，替人家做安慰的工作，还有这个旅行社能够供应了我们所有的需要。I'm just giving you an example of how God helped me to be creative and to be an entrepreneur and to do things that I was gifted to do。所以呢，我这只是给你一个例子，说神怎么样将他的话语放在心中，使我们变有一个创意的呃心境，然后做开始做创业的工作。当神把一件事情拿掉的时候，他要我们供应自己的生活，他自己要负责，他也会给我们智聪明智慧，也给我们恩赐，如何在生活上能够得到满足。God has given you uh, as uh, workers many talents and abilities. 神给他的工人有很多的恩赐，也才能。Uh, you could, and, and when he shares some some of the entrepreneur ideas. The Holy Spirit can give you insight to teach you how to make something with your hands, so that you can have some resource or income to be able to travel and to minister. So, the Lord, when He wants to give you, He sends you out to the world. He has many different ways of giving to the world. We'll talk more about the giving gift later, but I wanted to really encourage you in that because I sense that many of you feel like. Uh, what am I going to do when I leave here? How am I going to live? How can I provide for my parents? How can I provide for my family? How can I travel and do mission work? I don't have the resources. I'm trying to encourage you to ask the Spirit to help you to know how you can work with your hands and be a tent maker. When we come from this school, we have to go out. Whether we go to any place, we have to feel that our past is like a wilderness. We have to feel that our past is like a wilderness. We have to feel that our past is like a wilderness. We have to feel that our past is like a wilderness. We have to feel that our past is like a wilderness. We have to feel that 提醒我们，他已经给我们的，赐给我们的恩赐，也给我们才能。我们要用主给我们的恩赐去才能，来看主要带怎么样，或带领我们往前。All right, let's move on to the third diaconian gift. 
下面一个就是叫呃呃，第呃下面的一个第二 k i n i a n 的个的恩赐，也就是服侍的恩赐，就是 It's the gift of helps。这个恩赐是帮助人的。You need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize that every gift is important. We need to realize So they can lead and be out front, but they couldn't do it if it weren't for the helper. So, 帮助人的恩赐其实非常的重要。如果这帮没有帮助人的恩赐来支持帮助领袖的人，领袖的话，这些领袖的就会有很大的重担在他的身上。那他当有很多的重担在他身上的时候，这领袖就不能往前走。For example, in your training school here. If、uh, Brother Noah was the only one who did anything at the training school, he couldn't do it by himself. 比如说，在你们这个中心，如果呃，红衣弟兄要从小做到大的，每一件事情都要做的话，他怎么样来带领这个聚会，在这个这个训练中心 ？He needs the uh, house church, uh, local house church, to to contribute toward it,、uh, to provide food. Uh, to make provision for you to live here, he needs the local church to help him to provide food, to provide food to the people here, or 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 to provide food to the people here. You have a brother that stands at the gate and guards. That's a gift of help. 像有的弟兄就是站在这个呃大门那里，在那里守着，这也是一个帮助的恩赐。You have brothers who come in and and、uh, sweep the yard and pick up and help us in our private quarters. That's a gift of helping. 像有些弟兄在做饭以前要把柴搬到这个厨房那里，这也是一个帮助的恩赐。有的弟兄。帮忙我们做清洁，或者帮我们扫地，或帮我们淘水，这都是一个帮助的恩赐。And at various times, all of you pitch in and do you do your helping, you do your part. 然后每一位在座的，你做你的分内的工作，也这是一个帮助的恩赐。That's the gift of helps. 这就是一个帮助的恩赐。The person with the gift of help says to the to the leader, like a teacher, apostle, and these people. They'll say, "You go out and do the work, and I'll take care of some of the administrative things, and I'll take care of some things here at the center, or whether it's the local church or whatever." So you're free to go out and do the work that God's called you to. This will help the brothers and sisters who are here. They will say, "Let me do these things that I'm supposed to do. So you're free to do the work that God's called you to. So you're free to do the work that God's called you to. So you're free to do the work that God's called you to. So you're free to do the work that God's called you to. So you're free to do the work that God's called you to. 要托付你的事情。So helping is just as important a gift as an apostle or anybody else. 所以帮助人的恩赐的是重要性，跟做一个使徒的恩赐的重要性，跟传福音、跟讲道的恩赐重要是完无一有同等的这个果效。There's no way a person could do the things that God called them to do if he didn't have helpers to help. 没有一个人能够自己做所有的事情。如果你只有，你说我只有做使徒的恩赐，我不需要帮助人的恩赐，我想你所做的使徒的恩赐也做的不多。The next diaconian gift or service gift is the gift of mercy. 下一个帮助人的恩赐的呃一点就是啊，恩慈、怜悯、恩慈或者怜悯。呃 ，Our time is、uh, gone for this session, so we'll pick up at our Evening session on the gift of mercy. Let me give you the listing of the remaining gifts of diaconia, so you can put them in your notes. Mercy. 下节我要将所有的这个啊呃服侍的恩赐，今天晚间我们所要讲的呃，先跟你们提一下。Hospi. 一个是啊恩慈。Hospitality. 款待人的。The gift of organization. 组织的恩赐。
the gift of government, and the gift of rule. These, the remaining Dakinian gifts, we'll talk about in our evening session. Amen. Amen. Amen.